All week long, we've been showing you ways to protect yourself and your pets from ticks during their most active time of the year. Now, fighting and identifying ticks can be as simple as a few taps on your phone. The Tick app was developed by scientists trying to find out where and how people are encountering ticks. News Center's Vivian Lee is here to tell us more about this uh, handy little gadget. Yeah, it's yeah. Pat and Cindy. This tool, the, the app, which is free, is kind of like your own personal tick expert. If you find a tick, you can share a photo and it will be identified. It also allows users to log their daily activity and that data could be key to discovering why the risk for tick exposure is on the rise. Pull your socks over your jeans. To say Chris Philbrook and his family are vigilant about protecting themselves against deer ticks is an understatement. He and his daughter Lily always wear long sleeves and pants before heading out onto their favorite hiking trail. They do tick checks after they finish any outdoor activities and when they get home. When you see how debilitating this disease is up close, it's, it's something that you really want to be mindful of. A bite from a deer tick caused a condition called Bell's palsy. The muscles on the left side of Chris's face became weak and partially paralyzed. Part of his face still has no feeling, but now there's an extra level of protection right in the palm of his hand. If you did have a tick on you and you had the app, you could just pull it right out and figure out what you needed to do. Users of the tick app must first fill out a brief survey. Then they're prompted to log their daily activities and tick encounters. You can share a picture of a tick and where it was found. Experts will tell you what kind of species it is and if it has the potential of carrying Lyme disease. The app is a collaboration of researchers from the University of Wisconsin and Columbia University in New York. Dr. Maria Pilar Fernandez is the project's lead researcher. And it also helped us to identify how um, the new tick species that are expanding because we have um, new tick species, especially here in the Northeast. The app allows users to take ownership against Lyme and at the same time provide researchers with valuable information on where and how often they encounter a tick. We can have information after people have been diagnosed with, with Lyme disease. But getting that information of tick exposure um, hasn't really been done. And in part, it's because it's really hard to get. And that's what we're trying to do it with an app because everybody has a phone. The app also has daily reminders to do tick checks, information on signs and symptoms of Lyme disease, and how to properly remove a tick. Get as close to your skin as possible with your tweezers. Now, pull in a slow, steady upward motion away from the skin. Don't twist, jerk, or wiggle it out. Your skin will pull up as the tick detaches, just like when you pluck a hair. A lot of people go, obviously, to YouTube when they want to uh, remove a tick, but there's so much misinformation out there. This has it all in one place on how to do it, and you just, it, it offers peace of mind for people. While Chris says the tick app provides a lot of great information at your fingertips, he feels researchers should add inside locations and indoor activities such as housework because he says you never know when a tick could show up. We found a tick um, in our sink just this week. I mean, they're really, they're everywhere now. Um, and so I think that would be great data for them to know, like, did you find one in your office? Did you find one in your home or in the laundry? Well, right now, several thousand people are using the Tick app. Researchers hope to use the information by the end of next year and work with health departments to come up with more effective ways to protect people from tick. Now, the t Tick app is free. It can be downloaded both on your Android and iPhone devices. And, of course, we have tons of information uh, we've been talking about all week on our website and mobile app. So, so check it out. Lots of good information to share there. Thanks, yeah, Vivian. Thanks. Thank you.